Hey guys, welcome to North Coast Tactical. Uh, so it's pretty cold outside still, so I wanted to take some time to come out here and talk to you guys about the four levels of layering. As an avid outdoorsman and landscaper by trade, I've had to, over the years, learn how to layer my clothing. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do that in today's video. So the four levels of layering, uh, wicky, warmy, windy, and wetty. So that's our four layers. Uh, number one is wicky, uh, so which is the layer that is touching your skin that's going to wick perspiration or moisture off of your body. And I haven't found anything better personally uh, than merino wool. This is my go-to. Uh, the only downside is, is that it is expensive. Uh, no, it's not itchy, so don't ask uh, in the comments. It's not, it's not itchy or anything like that. Uh, this is great uh, for wicking moisture off of your body. Um, that is, uh, that's my go-to. It's a great layer that's going to help reduce your chances of getting hypothermia. Also guys, cotton, a terrible base layer uh, for wicking perspiration or moisture off of you. Yes, a, a nice cozy flannel will keep you warm, but if it gets wet, it loses all of its warming or wicking value. All right, let's talk about warming is the second layer. Uh, so fleece, fleece is a great insulator. Um, you know, if you have a jacket that's lined with fleece, it's going to help keep you uh, extremely warm. Also guys, beware of the full zip jackets, um, mostly because a lot of the time when you get too warm, you want to unzip your jacket and you're letting all of that uh, heat out of your uh, insulation. So what you want to do is just kind of unzip it just a little bit and let some of that out instead of all the way. And if your zippers aren't great, a lot of the time your heat is going to be lost through your zippers. So keep that in mind when you are layering. Another great insulator is down or goose down. Uh, but again, it loses all of its warming value, its insulation value, if it gets wet in any way or if you're too close to maybe a campfire and you know you burn a hole through it or it burns up, it'll burn very quickly, very easily. So uh, goose down is fine as long as it stays dry. Okay, so the next one is windy. So windy is obviously anything that's going to stop the wind and a soft shell jacket like this uh, is very good at that. It has a DWR finish so it is water resistant but it is not 100% waterproof. Uh, but the good thing about these is that they're light. You can take them off and put them back on depending on your temperature uh, and they don't take up a lot of space. Also another quality is that they don't make a lot of noise unlike uh, you know say a windbreaker. Uh, that real swishy noise that you hear. Uh, hunters like these because they're very, very uh, quiet when it comes to movement. So uh, soft shell jackets uh, are a, a good option for windy. Uh, another good option as well is, say the coat that I have is essentially a windbreaker material. You'll hear the swishy noise. Uh, this is a good windbreaker material, but it is also an insulation layer as well because it does have fleece on the inside. All right guys, and our final one is wetty. So wetty is something that's going to keep you dry when it is wet or raining outside. So uh, such as a rain jacket or a military style poncho. Um, this is, again, still a rain jacket. This is meant for the outdoors. It's very warm, it is wind proof, and it is water resistant as well. Also has a rain hood. Uh, but you can get military ponchos for very, very cheap. Uh, at military surplus stores. So go check them out, uh, get one, put one in your pack, and they're very light. Uh, they can be inexpensive or they can be expensive, so whatever your budget is, find one that fits for you. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this short tips video. Uh, and what did we learn today? Wiki, warmy, windy, and wetty. So learn how to layer your clothes correctly for your environment, for the temperature outside. That's gonna wrap it up for us guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, share it with your friends, and if you haven't yet, please consider clicking that subscribe button as we make new videos like this every single week. And to get notified when we make new content just like this, make sure you ring the bell for notifications. That's gonna do it. Thank you guys again for being here. You know the drill. Stay humble, stay free, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time.